Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I really don't, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Oh, me, me tonight. Yes, it's, I'm recording this tonight, but some of you, you know what, time zones are evil and I don't like them, so go, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> On this planet, at this particular rotational period, I don't really have anything particular set in my mind to do stuff. That is the wrong flag, but it won't let me change it. I want my flag. I want my flag. I want my flag. There we go. America. Um, hmm. You know what? What can a Kerbal carry? I mean, really, what can a Kerbal build outside of... You know, outside, outside, outside of the space plane hangar and stuff. What what can they put together by themselves? Is it significant? Can they, like, build a ship? Or just, you know, just the basic small stuffs? There really is only one way to find out, huh? <laughs> now, in this part of the video, I thought that whatever you could shove into these cargo, co cargo containers was the only things that the Kerbals could interact with. Later on, I find out that that's not the case. So stay tuned to the end. Let's see. So that's 2,500 L. Mm, is that L? Is that, is that liters? Somebody help. Help. Can I actually double this up though? No, I cannot double it up. So 2,500 is the tops of what this thing can carry. I mean, of what can be carried, right? Are those supposed to be shelves? Drawers and stuff? Cute. All right, so we all know and love all these little gizmos, but what about a chair? Can I put a chair in there? Can I put a chair in? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, so I could put a chair in there. What? Seriously? Construction only part. Okay, so I would have to bring that up into orbit. Construction only. How about this? Of course. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking all these are pretty much... I, I, that, uh, that doesn't even register. <laughs> that doesn't even register. How about this? Oh, that kind of registers, but not quite. This? No. How about this? this? This is a probe part. Oh, wow. So this this right here can actually be built in space. Okay. Good to know. Mm, this? Of course not. That? No. Uh, what? Okay. It, does, it just it doesn't register at all. Okay, okay. 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 That one? No? Okay. Wow. This is, this is kind of small, too. All right. How about this? Uh, nope. How about the probes? Yeah, I've, I figured the probe cores would be good. How about this one? Ooh, so I can, but I would need like an entire thing by itself. We're going to need a couple more of these. Oh yeah, this is 2,400, 2,500. That, that pretty much sucks up an entire thing. Well, good to know I can kind of like package it. This, of course. That, of course. Yeah, I figured all the probe stuff would be good to go. That's about full, huh? Yeah, okay. That's full. How about this? Okay, that can go in there, of course. How about this? Yep. How about this bad boy? Construction only. Oh, it's a probe core that they will not put in there. Huh. Even with an empty one. Yep. Construction only. Okay. Well, that's sad, but cool to know. All right. That's all that. How about fuel tanks? Doesn't even register. Okay. How about this fuel tank? Nope. That fuel tank? This one? Nope. 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 Definitely not. But this tiny little thing. Ah, okay. Teeny tiny stuff. Boy, that's not really teeny tiny. That's, that's actually a proper size. Okay. There we go. Teeny tiny, of course. This one? Construction only. This one doesn't even freaking register. How about this one? Ooh, this one does? You can. So I think it's um whatever millimeter size parts these are. I, I don't know. So let's check it out. Yeah, there it goes. It takes about 1,100 and I could put it in inventory for them to build in space. Oh, wow. You can do the same thing with this one? Seriously? Yeah, that's 2,000 though. Sons of biscuits. Are, is that all for these sizes? No nope. construction part only. And that doesn't even register. <laughs> okay, so only these kind of like these, uh, the F, the F FLT200 and the FLT100 tanks can be stored as construction parts and built by Kerbals in space, I'm guessing, obviously. How about this one? Construction part only, only, no. This one, I bet it, yeah. Oh, wow, you can carry more, too. So you can actually hold down Alt and put it in there and have all four of them. If you didn't know that, that was a trick. Hold down Alt, put it in there, and it, and it fills it up. Yes, sir. Oh, wow, okay, good, cool. Nope, nope, nope. I don't even know why I'm trying to put this in there. That's, uh, I'm just clicking everything right now. Just, just because you never know. Nope. Uh uh. Wait, what? Oh, this is a mod. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I have simple construction on there. Yep, that fits 
right in there. I hope, I hope they have orbital construction. It looks like it, if, if, <clears throat> if the um, KSP trailer is anything to go off of, it looks like there is orbital construction, which is gonna be so sweet. It's gonna be freaking sweet. Okay, yeah, I figured you could put that in there. I figured you, yeah, I figured all the small stuff. Oh, wow, you could put this one in there too, and that's not small. This is a, uh, that's a decent size. Okay, how about these? Yeah, I figured you could put those in there too. Cool beans. How about this? Yeah, put the donut in there. Put the ball in there. Space balls. Put the small holding tank in there. Yeah. Can you put it in there while it's full of ore? An interesting thought. How about now? Does it fill up more spot? So, oh, wait a minute. I might have found a loophole. 340L. Okay. That's full tank. So if we take this and empty it out, do we still get 340L? Yep. 340L. We found a loophole, ladies and gentlemen. Dun, dun, dun. Da! So, so wait a minute now. We gotta hold on now. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold everything. Back it up. 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 Ah. So one of. The, oh my gosh. Why is that so small? Because I freaking made it that way. Like a genius. I'm so sorry. Can anybody here read ant? All right. So mass is 400 kilograms. Just almost half a ton. So we're gonna go for ore. Right, put it on the side, and now it's 525. Crank it up to a uh, full ore, it's now one ton, 1.2 tons. But if we put it inside here, ah, shit. <laughs> Damn, they thought of everything. Damn it. And then we crank it down and we put it inside there and correspondingly 525. Okay. All right. No loophole here. Move along. Move along. Nothing to see here, people. No loopholes. Sorry. Sorry for the hype. Sorry. Damn it. That would have been so cool. So basically what I do now is I just go through the entire category of all the list of parts to see what fits inside of the containers. But in my curiosity, I want to go ahead and put this thing into orbit and build kind of makeshift orbital structural building platform and see exactly if I can build anything from these cargo containers that I can put the, all the stuff that I can put inside the cargo, cargo containers if I can actually build anything. But I kind of find out that the Kerbals are able to do a little bit more than just take things from the cargo containers. You know what? I, I want to go ahead and test out what they can build and so far this is just a mock-up I, I i had to cheat it up there but i figured that they can use these it could probably be like a type of habitat module thing in a sense and you could see them like building a ship in space and doing something like this and that'd be pretty cool um all right let me try to get uh engine part from here do you need more than one Kerbal? Do they need to be like, do they need to team up or something? Now I have a um, mod called uh, Easy Vessel Switcher. that allows you to hold down the Alt key and click on something in order to switch to it, which is a crap ton better than the very strange configuration of the uh, keyboard. I forget what they're called off the top of my head right now. I'm too tired to think about that crap. Anyway. This allows you to actually aim at a target and hold down Alt and click it, and boom, you got them, right? Way easier. But that's okay. We're all crossing our fingers for KSP2. I might sacrifice some blood and uh, a left and a right arm to go ahead and try to get it first. That way I can be one of the KSP channels that, you know, puts it out there. Alright, so we got an engine in here, right? Gonna see if I can't take it. Uh-huh. How does that work? <laughs> okay. So it's in the cargo. How do I get it out of the cargo? Uh, huh? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Duh, duh. Bring out your little laser gun. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, everything's lighting up. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, we're going to grab the uh, engine. There it is. And we're going to place it right. Oh, dear. Am I not close enough? Must not be close enough. Because she could put it on here, but she can't put it over here. Okay, no problem. We'll just do this. You're going to shoot it with your little laser beam? No? Okay, cool. And just grab it. This. Put it over here. No? Did I use up all of her little things when she did that? No? Okay. Oh, there she goes with a little laser. <laughs> that is cute. All oh, the little specks float in space, too. Oh, cool. The little particles floated in space. And no, she did not consume any of her tools when she did that. Okay, sweetness. Uh, still, we, we kind of need to... Uh, is this in the way? Is that why I can't put it there? Why is that? I could put it backwards, but I can't. It must be in the way. Ooh, that's a problem. Oh, crap. Oh, she's got some reach on that sucker. Nice. But still, it's in the way. Which tells me that... 
hold on, can I do this? Can I put these back in here? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to try to click on this right and oh no. No, I can't change the I can't change it to its uh to the other skin. Not that that would make a difference, but you know. Hmm. Um hmm. What could possibly be in the way? Alright, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put No, I can't. Wow, this is really picky on what's in the way and what isn't in the way. Well damn. Never mind. Oh crap, look at the reach on that sucker. <laughs> okay, girl. Damn. Okay, so it's an interesting concept. There, There's definitely some rules that are up. Wait, are you telling me she can move the... No. Hold the phone. What? <gasps> she can move the things. And then she can place them on other things. I did not know that. So when you're in orbit, you can literally build... As long as you got the parts, you can put together anything. O-M-G. Are you kidding me? This is a game changer. So, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Look at, she's excited because she thinks, she's thinking what I'm thinking. That's, <laughs> what's in my head is in her head. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a game changer. Uh, I think I'm going to have some interesting videos coming out here pretty soon of orbital construction. I'm going to bring up all the parts, and then we're just going to build a ship in space the right way. Not modular, sticking things together, but like literally going around and building it like space engineer style. Sweetness. All right. Well, everyone, I love you all. Please take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. This is going to be so cool. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.